Okay, so in this video, I just wanted to take a very quick look at NCR Silver, but specific to the, the back office portion of the software. And what's key here is, um, you know, anywhere you have a web browser, you can log in. So most folks, you know, it's pretty easy to find information on how it looks on an iPhone or an iPad, but here's how the back part of NCR Silver looks. When you're logged in, uh, in this case, I'm just using Firefox on a Windows 7 laptop. This is a demo, so there isn't a lot of detail here, but again, I just want to give you an overview. And then my personal experience with NCR Silver is that um, there's a couple of places where it's worked really great. And that is um, seasonal businesses like Christmas tree stands, firework stands, um, maybe venues where they just have concessions or, you know, merchandise sales just for a few weeks out of the year or a few months out of the year because you can turn NCR Silver off and on as far as the, um, the monthly fee to use it goes. Um, it's also pretty flexible from the standpoint whether you're kind of like a concessions related business or you're an actual retail store. Um, or even a kiosk, like in a mall, it's a good solution for something like that. The downsides are, this really isn't much more than a cash register. It's got some little additional things that most cash registers can't do, like the email campaigns and things like that, but it isn't a full-blown point-of-sale system. So you're not going to get a lot of the more in-depth reporting, you know, your more in-depth options when it comes to item, inventory items, and the options related to that, your purchasing and your receiving, things like that. But, you know, if you're not doing $250,000 or $300,000 in annual gross sales, then you probably don't want to spend a lot of money on a point of, a, you know, computer-based point of sale solution. But the other thing, you know, and this really applies to silver, and to even to a Clover, is that we've got other more robust mobile solutions coming on the market, um, well, like Bindo, where it, really they're all the same monthly fee, but with Bindo and some of the others, you, you get a lot more for that same monthly fee where you're actually using a true point-of-sale system, not just kind of something that's a little bit better than a cash register. So, again, this being a demo, there isn't much in here, but... I, I want to give you just a quick overview. So when you log in, there's a quick snapshot of uh, what's going on in your business. And then uh, we'll hit probably just a couple of the highlights here so we don't go too long on the video. Um, like most of the other mobile solutions or cloud-based solutions, these are extremely easy and simple. Uh, most folks can be up and running within a couple of hours depending on how many inventory items you have and how detailed you want to be. But, you know, again, this isn't very detailed. You know, point of sale system, you'd be getting more detail as far as the individual items. You know what I'm doing? Just bringing up what you do see are my, my happy Kleenex tissue box there. Or sorry, Kirkland tissue box. Thank you, Costco. So... Again, just kind of hits the highlights. You know, it, it's enough to give you some good details, but it's not as in-depth as a uh, the type of information you see in Bindo or other point-of-sale solutions. Uh, we do have some modifiers, and that is, if you're using it for food service, obviously you have, you know, small hot dog, log, large hot dog, or even ketchup or mayonnaise on your hot dog, depending on what part of the country you're in. And if we go over to the customer area of NCR Silver, we do get to do some things as far as a loyalty program and email marketing. Now what's different here, you know, NCR's point of sale program, NCR Counterpoint, has a true behind-the-scenes email marketing program. This one just has little snippets or tidbits of the full-blown NCR counterpoint email marketing, meaning 
we just have a limited number of emails that we can send out. But it's still, again, for smaller volume stores, seasonal businesses, uh, kiosks and malls, things like that, it, it's a great solution. Uh, we also have a loyalty program, which is not currently set up, but again, it's basically based off points or purchases. And then we also have some basic uh, settings for the employees, basically creating different um, levels of what they can and can't do within the, uh, within the software. Again, this isn't quite as in-depth. I mean, we're just limited to a few levels here and of what the, um, you know, the different classification of your employees are and what they can and can't do in the software. So I think that kind of gives you an idea. Again, this is extremely easy to use, just like Volver and Bindle and a lot of the other mobile and cloud-based point-of-sale solutions are. And it, it is a good match. It's nice and affordable. You know, depending on your pricing option, you're looking at probably anywhere from 50 to 80 bucks a month. And that, of course, includes use of the app as well as your... Um, your support. However, one thing that they don't do is include the cost of the, um, the equipment that you need as far as, you know, the, the iPad or iPhone and receipt printer and cash drawer. Where I found, like, some of the, the newer mobile solutions that have come on the market, like Bindo, they're actually including free hardware. So that's obviously a, um, a big advantage. And if you can get more, for the same price and get free hardware, but it's kind of logical to uh, to go that route. And I'm just trying to see if there's anything in the report that I don't have any uh, any history here, but you kind of get the idea. It's, it's pretty straightforward, and you can see there's just kind of some basic reports here. Again, not as in depth as um, Bindo, and not as in depth as a true point of sale system that would normally run on a, um, a Windows or a Mac computer, but still better and more flexible than a cash register. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, if there is anything else I can do, uh, here's my information. I've been doing this for about 15 years and I've worked with several thousand retailers across the United States. Uh, the company I work for did go out of business in fall 2013, so this has kind of just been a, a hobby. But if there's any free advice or help I can give you, here's all my contact information, or you can always visit my blog site as well. Thanks for watching.